What's up guys, Bumpy here from Team Curbcraft, and today I have a special video. Today is the very first TU-19 interior tutorial. Today we're going to be doing this right here. It is a master suite for like your master bedroom and bathroom. I decided to do this one. We haven't done a bedroom tutorial in quite a long time. Or on the city texture pack, I don't think at all. I'll have to go back and check that. But uh, Here's the, what we're going to be doing. It's an interior tutorial inside of here. I'm just going to break this out. We don't really need this right now. I just had that for planning. Um, but basically, uh, I'm going to give you guys a few dimensions right here. Uh, when I say these dimensions, I'm not talking about like the floor inside of here. I'm actually talking about the uh, walls. So if that's a little bit confusing to you, sorry about that. But here's the wall dimensions. For the overall, uh, it's a 17 by 24 box that's five blocks tall. Um, as you can obviously see over here, there's just a little indent, so pick a corner and basically just come in three from the 24 block side and uh, come in four from the 17 block. That's going to be the closet there, that little indent is just kind of closing off the closet. Uh, when you're putting up the walls, I'll uh, just give you guys a second to kind of get a layout there. You can pause the video. Uh, this wall right here, and I'm facing out with the TV on it, uh, that wall is what splits the bedroom from the bathroom. So the bedroom the bedroom wall should be a 17 by 14. So 17 blocks going this way across and going all the way back. And then it's going to be 14 blocks along this way right here. So that's going to kind of help you out get some bedrooms. Uh, the walls are not double stacked right here. So make sure you count this block in when you're putting up the walls. For the bathroom, it's 13 by 11. So it's starting right here, 13 blocks along this way. And then it's 11 blocks all the way down to here. And this leaves the closet with the walls being 5 by 8. So it's going to be 5 counting this block right here. And then 8 counting this layer right here. So 5 by 8. So you guys can pause the video, put up your walls. I just used stone as the wall color. I thought it was a good color contrast. Um, I didn't really use the stained clay. As you can see here, the stained clay, it's kind of got like a bumpy texture. Kind of weird in this uh, texture pack, the city texture pack. It's kind of got that like weird color to it, so I wasn't really a huge fan of using that. Hardened clay also, it's got, got that same texture. This one looks a lot like stone, honestly. But uh, that's pretty much what clay looks like in the texture pack. Windows, uh, two blocks in, and then a one block wide window with shutters on it on both sides in the bedroom. Uh, it's centered in that two block wide window straight across from the door, which is lined up with the glass on the window. Uh, door is just one block in, it's two blocks wide right here. Uh, one block wide window with shutters centered in the bathroom. Three block wide one centered in the bathroom again. And then the door is two blocks in, it's two blocks wide as you can see there. Uh, I used uh, light, gray wool, light gray wool and stone as the tile in the bathroom and then uh, hard uh, oak wood planks as the flooring everywhere else. So uh, hopefully you guys are ready. If you're not, pause the video, get everything all caught up. And uh, we're going to get started. So to begin, we're just going to go around and do the lighting stuff around. Uh, typically, I like to use an anvil with uh, spruce leaves as uh, like little anvil bushes in the corners to light up a room. Just something similar, just something simple like this. Other options, if you're using different texture packs, cauldrons are an option. I don't like using them for traditional. Uh, Ender portal frames, but I like using that in the natural texture pack. But just for the city, we're going to use anvils and spruce leaves. You can do this in whatever texture pack you want, default, natural, etc. And that pretty much concludes that. I'm going to do a little bit of lighting here on the floor. Uh, I'm just going to keep it simple, go with a nice gray carpet covering up these five blocks of glowstone. These are lined up in between the, uh, what's this called, the windows in between the shutters there. Then there's a painting offset by one block to the right of a TV if you guys want to do that. Or you can put in the TV, I guess, uh, if you're using a different texture pack, because they don't have those. Uh, we're going to go to the bed now. The bed, uh, it's going to be a pretty simple bed design. Get some glowstone out. Light gray uh, carpet, which they put down here now. And we will, I guess, get some gray wool. Uh, I'm just using basic colors here. We're going to put uh, three blocks of glowstone centered between this. These are little night tables here. They're just quartz slabs sitting right underneath there. Um, light gray, gray wool is just going to flow all the way around it. 
And then Grey Wolf is going to come down in, in additional four blocks here. So uh, we should have a six by five bed. So if you're doing this in survival, it's 30 blocks worth of wool. And then on up there, we're going to have some light gray carpet to cover up the glowstone and act as the pillow. On the nightstand, you can do whatever you want. I like just going with a simple ramp design of a cobblestone wall and a white gray carpet on top of this. Again, you can use whatever you want. If you're using the natural texture pack, you can go with like a brewing stand. Um, but what else might be a good idea? Fence is if you're doing this in another texture pack and those look really good. Um, just really depends on uh, what texture pack you're using for the most part. In the middle, uh, we're just going to grab a, we'll use a weighted pressure plate just because you can now uh, a sign and a painting, throw down a weighted pressure plate, uh, throw down a sign, don't really need to write anything on that, and then basically just a painting there, kind of acting as a little laptop, you could write like Dell or something on the back depending on what computer brand you like. Personally, I put Apple, but for sake of time, we're not going to do that in this video. Um, we're going to grab some quartz stairs here and a quartz slab and if you really want to you can get fancy and do some sign work with it but three blocks tall here right here this is going to act as like the dresser there's going to be two more over there also so a uh, signs right there you can get fancy with them put like parentheses acting like doorknobs you can use item frames and uh, make little drawers I guess um, that's kind of outdated now but if you still like the look of that go for it all you your houses and uh, however you want them to look go for it uh, so we'll just do some signs there. This is just offset one block apart from the uh, spruce wood uh, shutters right there. Uh, throw down some more signs. Again, these signs, if you want to get tedious with it, you can just pause the video, do all your parentheses, or do it afterwards. Either way is fine with me. Uh, we're going to grab some more quartz stairs also. We're just going to put a little bench underneath uh, this right here. Boom, boom. Okay, that's, that's not going to want to work with me, so uh, I guess we'll just grab some uh, quartz slabs there and just uh, make it a little bit of a chubby bench there. You can just sit in front of the window, read a book, I guess. Whatever you feel like. Underneath the TV here, it's lined up exactly with the carpet that we put down. So I uh, just put a layer of uh, quartz slabs, five blocks wide, and you can put the TV on the right side, the left side. I just put it up there because initially I got it on the first try, one block off, so uh, we'll go with it. And then we will get some uh, cobblestone walls. And on the other side, you can put the TV or painting or whatever you're doing there. Just uh, take some cobblestone walls and put it up to the ceiling. Just so that it's like got a little bit of support there. It's kind of a modern touch in a traditional kind of like a room. So I kind of like it. And that's a nice little touch to it. So that's pretty much the entire bedroom area. If you wanted to get fancy with it, I guess you could put uh, another carpet here or something. Maybe a chair, a little sitting area. Um... Maybe some flower pots. Why not put a couple of flower pots here? I wish we would have got some uh, new flowers and stuff with the new update, but not complaining. We finally got an update to the game. So uh, that's nice. Put a little flower pot there. If you want to, you can put some on the nightstands also, but you might hit those with your, with your hand when you're sleeping and knock all the dirt and stuff out, so that's not good. Up here, we got this little cobblestone wall, so uh, grab another cobblestone wall and some torches. Just going to make a simple little chandelier design. Just come down two blocks from your ceiling. And uh, just spread it out on all four sides and throw some torches up. This adds a, as a nice little chandelier and the torches kind of complement the cobblestone walls in this texture pack. So that's nice. That's the entire bedroom. Uh, if you want to, because you're really uh, concerned about this being symmetrical with the bed, you could add another layer there. But I like it being symmetrical with the wall. Uh, over there and on the sides, just centered between the bushes and the pillar courts on the door frame. Just creeper paintings right there or whatever painting you like in a different texture pack. In here, we're going to head over here into the uh, bathroom area. I can't remember what it was called. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to grab some uh, quartz blocks and some hop hoppers. Where's the hoppers? Oh, they are right there. Hoppers, I really do like the look of these in this texture pack. I'm also going to need to grab some, what would that be? That'll be stone, light gray, light gray wool. There we go. So just throw out some light gravel so the hopper doesn't expose too much. I'm going to put it there and then get the block of quartz there. That's going to kind of act as the sink there. Uh, over here we're going to do the exact same thing. Except I'm actually going to need stone because, you know, just would not work if it wasn't like that. Throw the hopper up there and uh, we'll get some carpet and stuff out for that here in a minute. Over here uh, we're going to have the shower and the bathtub obviously. Uh, let's get out some carpets now. 
Uh, we're gonna make this. Uh, we'll go with cyan carpets, I guess, for the bathroom. Just cause blue and water and the cyan's kind of got that nice blue color. So basically centered. Um, yeah, pretty much centered with the window right there. Three blocks out, you're gonna have a three by three carpet with glowstone underneath it just to light up the room. Um, over here, just three blocks wide right in front of the window, and then just one block right there in front of the sink. Those are both right there. So I'll pause just give you guys a little second to catch up and look at everything if you're following along. In the corners, uh, we're going to do some more of those uh, anvil bushes. If you don't really like anvil bushes, I guess you could uh, use another design, uh, as I mentioned earlier, or uh, not oak leaves. I'm not going to use oak leaves in here. But I like anvil bushes. They're a nice touch. And they had a good amount of light into the room, especially in the corners, just kind of as a space filler. Throw one up right here, and that is perfect. Uh, we're gonna get some pillar quartz out now. Where did they put pillar quartz now? Right up there. Get some uh, stairs and slabs. We're gonna use another weighted pressure plate, or you can use a stone one, depending on the texture pack. Just go with what go with what you like for the build. Uh, get out an item frame. Pillar quartz is already out. Okay, perfect. So right next to the sink, put a sideways pillow quartz, and then a standing up pillow quartz with a quartz slab on top. Back here, I have three slabs stacked up with a stair coming off of it. Excuse me. And then on top of the stair, put the pressure plate. If you want to, you can do like a little toilet paper holder by throwing an item frame up there, putting in some pillow quartz sideways. Maybe just white wool, whatever you uh, personally like. Uh, it's throw up there, that's just gonna act as the toilet paper. It's kind of have this little half wall here, kind of giving you a little bit of privacy on the toilet. Uh, we're going to keep out the quartz stairs. We'll do the bathtub. So this basically just wraps around the entire uh, window here, not there. Just wrapping it around the Christmas tree, having a happy uh, bath time. So it's kind of this little 2 by 3 with a little quartz stair thing going on around here. And then we'll take a pillar quartz. This is uh, three blocks out from that uh, shutter right there. So boom, put another one up right there. And then sideways, leave a little block there, put a half slab in there if you want to. And then uh, connect this right here so you can have this little 3x3 three three with a little hopper down there. I put glowstone behind it, just adding this little bit of light since we can't really do an anvil brush over here. Uh, get out the glass panes, take this up two blocks on, around the entire thing. So you should have two blocks, two blocks. Uh, this is a cool little thing that I did on one of my houses. Uh, put pillar quartz around here. And then uh, you can do the glass thing on top of here also. And then if you get out some uh, cobblestone walls, and you get out a redstone lamp, and a red, we'll just go with black and redstone, make it simple. You throw that there, get out redstone lamps, light them up right there, and throw down some cobblestone walls underneath. That adds some lighting to the place, just like that. Uh, I really do like that. And then inside of the shower, go however you want to. Whether you're a lever person or you want the tripwire hook, I'm going with the tripwire hook in here as the shower head. I'm gonna put that three blocks up, so boom, just like that. That's almost the entire bathroom. I uh, should have left that tripwire hook out because I'm gonna really need that right now. Boom. Can't really put a faucet on top of the hopper over there, but that's no biggie. Um, let's see what else can we do in here. Nothing really crazy else that we could do in here. If you have any other touches you want to add. For example, you can throw some water down in here for the fun of it. I did not really want to put water up there. Throw down some glowstone. So that's like that. That's all you need to do there. Inside the shower, since this is uh, kind of empty space on the tutorial, uh, we could throw a layer of cobblestone wall, of just cobblestone back there. And I guess you could put some shelves in uh, with some gray carpet if you want to do that. That's an option. Just kind of for like soap shelves and stuff like that. So we're going to the closet now. Closet inside, it's only three by uh, six. Yeah, three by six. So in the corners, we're gonna put some. Uh, just uh, on the sides, we're gonna put some cauldrons, and then uh, take chests up by two. Boom, boom, and then boom, 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 boom. So that covers that. We're gonna grab some pillar quartz, which is sitting right up here. The update's a little bit confusing, so that's why not finding blocks easily. So in the corners, the back corners, just uh, throw up some pillow quartz, just like that. And then on the bottom, sideways, right there. I put a birch wood back there. If you're using a different texture pack, as I've always mentioned, 
you go with some other stuff. Bedrock would look kind of cool back there in the natural. Um, Birchwood would work actually in the default texture pack if you're still playing there. I don't really know what other texture packs people would use besides that, but we're going to grab some gray carpet, just add some contrast here, and then just put some shelves up in the back of the bed, in the back of the bathroom. There just kind of has like a storage area. So that concludes the entire uh, master suite area. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure to smack the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, what do we got? That was a little sign for my friend that joined the world last night. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you did, did enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the Cryptcraft channel. And if you want any more interior tutorials in the future now that TU19's out, uh, make sure to uh, leave those suggestions down in the comments. That's pretty much it.